Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Render Man for Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to render out your AOVs and I'll quickly cover denoising as well. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So I've got a very simple scene set up here with a camera and a light and just this very simple sphere. And we're going to start by creating our render operator. So we'll just click this button on the shelf here under your RenderMan 23 tab. Go to your output for your scene. And then we're going to jump into the images tab under the RenderMan ROP. And we're just going to define where we're outputting to. So I'm just going to select my folder here. And I'm just going to create this. <coughs> and I'm just going to call this tutorial dot dollar f4 because it will give the frame padding of 4 dot exr because it's going to be an exr we're going to set, set the device to open exr we're going to enable denoising you can change any of the settings here but we're not going to really go into that in this tutorial and then we're going to click render and if i jump into my folder where i rendered it you'll see i get tutorial double or oh, triple oh one uh, but you'll see there is no denoised folder. For the moment this is rendering correctly, but we do need to add one more step to get denoising. So we're just going to create a RenderMan denoise node. Run the ROP node into the denoise node, and then we're just going to click denoise there. And it's going to look at your RenderMan outputs, your image outputs, and where they are, and denoise them, if it's able to denoise them. Denoise, it will require a variance style file which is the default beauty pass that you will get out of RenderMan. So if I just quickly drop those into Nuke and zoom in a bit here, hopefully this will show up in the video. This is the noisy version, which is noisy, and the denoise version, which is denoise. So there's a slight difference there, but you can see that it is functioning. If you're wishing to add more AOVs to your beauty pass, you can. What you can do is go into the extra image planes, and then we could say, look at default, you'll see that you've got your color and your alpha there. Then we could go into standard and we can add any extra ones that we want. Say, for example, we could use Z. Actually, that won't be very apparent. So why don't we use N for normals? And we'll render this again. And then we can shuffle the shuffle node out our normal. So there you go. And then you can still obviously shuffle out your RGB on a separate node. Say so RGB. So there you go. You've got your diffuse and your normal. Now, if you're wanting to put these on separate passes rather than having them integrated into the one EXR, you can do that by creating new displays. So we'll create a second one here and I'm just going to copy that path into there and I'm going to call this tutorial N and I'm just going to make a separate pass for our normals and I'll take normals off the beauty pass. Make sure you set the device to open EXR and then render. And I just realized that I had the beauty and alpha enabled there. So it's going to, again, for the normals, have the beauty and alpha. But you can see if you shuffle out the in, you'll get that normal pass. And you've also got it here, as well as the denoised and the original beauty pass. So that's all there really is to it, if you're looking to set up your AOVs. Um, you can just do so from there and just ensuring that if you are doing animations you type in that $F4 token and that will allow you to render out with frame padding as well on your file types. Just make sure that the device is set to the correct thing. If you want to render it, obviously you could do that or the Houdini display. But in most cases, you're going to want to render to OpenEXR. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking the link below.